Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to bring you a 3F on 3 8 plate. We're going to run a vertical 7018, six beads or more in a 3F position, and today we're going to talk to you and walk you through how to run a proper 3F. Uh, so like on the first one, we're going to run it right in the groove here. We're going to run it with a slight up angle, straight into a slight up angle, maybe no more than five, ten degrees max of a push up angle. But I pretty much like to run it head on the whole time. And like I said, we're going to run it right in the middle. We're going to try to keep a nice tight arc length. And so we're going to keep our bead under control and we're going to run a nice little fillet well right up the middle. And then we'll go into multiple passes after that. Uh, so yeah, we've got our machine set on about 110 amps. Okay. We've got everything set up, we've got our plate tacked up, everything's ready to go, so let's get started. Let's show some beads. Here we go. Damn it. Continue on here and get this other tie in. Here we go. Okay, so we got our first pass in there. You can see it's nice, smooth, tying into both sides. We don't have any undercut down there. It's looking good. We got a little piece right there, but no big deal. And so what's gonna happen is, well, since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna work from left to right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and run this beat. But there's very tricky parts here, okay? You gotta change your angles on when you're running verticals like this. You can't always just keep running it in at the same, same way every time. Just like I talked about on the 2F, now on the 3F, if you don't change your angle and go in towards the plate a little bit, you're going to end up with undercut. So let's go back through it. If I'm running at this angle like so, look at my rod. It's coming in sideways and coming in at my bead. If I run it like this, I'm going to end up with undercut all down this side. Why, you ask? It's because I'm pushing all the metal that way. I'm not even angled at this plate. I'm actually pushing it this direction. And so what's going to happen is my bead's naturally going to go that way and I'm going to end up with undercut. If you get undercut down one side, then it's your rod angle. 99% of the time, if you end up with undercut down one side of your bead, whether it be the right or left, doesn't matter, you're, you got the wrong angle. Okay, now if you got undercut down both sides, that's a completely different story. You're probably messing up on a lot of different things. But if it's just down one side, 99% it's your angle. If you'll change the angle towards the undercut, the way it's undercut, and on that side, point it more to that side, it'll get rid of your undercut. And I'll go through that and I'll show you today. So like I say, I'm gonna run this bead right here, right on this toe line coming up, but I'm not running like this. I'm actually gonna move my body over a little bit and angle a little bit more at this plate so where I can make sure I'm not getting any undercut as I'm moving up the plate. Y'all ready?
Okay, as you can see, I've ran this bead up here. It's nice and smooth, no undercut all down it. And it's because I changed my angle the right way. Same thing's gonna happen here. Once again, I'm not gonna run it at this angle like I just ran this one. Now I'm actually gonna come back over and change my angle a little bit and make sure I'm facing at this plate here. So, like I said, as you're coming up, you gotta change your angles a little bit. They can't always be this just straight in, that doesn't work. So like I say, we're gonna change our angle just a little bit. We're gonna move over to this side and we're gonna run it right up the toe line here, making sure we get complete fusion from this plate here over to our bead over onto our left and filling it in. This will be our third bead coming up on the vertical. And like I say, it's gonna go right here. And you probably won't finish all the way with a rod. It doesn't matter. I mean, however long the plate is, you just have to make tie-ins. But uh, don't try to race it. Don't try to make it make it. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times when you're running a bead like this on the number three and on number six pass when we get to it, you need to run it a little bit slower because it's usually got a little bit more to fill up. So, like I say, don't rush it. Take your time with it, and you can have nice, smooth, quality beads. Let's make this last tie in here, get this done. Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, and three done. So now we're gonna start on number four bead. And once again, when you start on number four, we're gonna move back to our left side and work our way back across from left to right, overlapping beads. So once again, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna move my body. I'm gonna move my angle over just a little bit so where I make sure that I'm not getting any undercut down this side. And we're gonna run our bead right like so. Okay, like I say, right here, right up this bead, right, up, right in this little valley, all the way up. Keep a nice tight arc length, that keeps it under control, keeps the undercut down. Here we go. Okay, so we got number four bead in there. Now we're gonna run number five. We run five just like you ran number one. Right in the middle, right in the crack here. We're gonna try to run it right here, right down the middle here, straight in, and fill in that little void up. Number five usually goes a little bit faster. You know, you run a little bit faster of a travel speed than like I say on number six, we'll slow down our travel speed because we usually have a little bit bigger of a gap to fill in. So uh, let's get number five in.
All right. And last but not least, number six. And when we run number six, just like I've been talking about, that rod angles, once again, not like so, okay? That's the wrong rod angle. We're gonna actually move over here like so and run it this way. All right, so watch your angles as you're running the verticals. It is a critical part. Uh, like I say, if you're getting undercut down one side, it's because of your rod angle. Change your rod angles, your undercut will go away. Like I say, if you're getting undercut down both sides, then we've got different problems. Come see me at Tulsa Welding School. I'll help you out with that. Let's get this last bead in. Okay, as you can see, we've successfully ran a vertical uh, 3F, 7018 all the way out, 1 8th. Nice smooth beads, no undercut. I'm going to leave that little spot left so where you can see actually where my rod was and see where I was burning in. So where you can watch this video and go back and practice it at your house or come see us at Tulsa Welding School. we got unlimited resources here. You can practice here if you enroll in our program and uh, we'll help you be a great welder. So if you've got questions or concerns, please come reach out to us at Tulsa Welding School. Uh, check us out on our Facebook or YouTube channels and things like that and we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.